what's up guys it's focus trading and we are back again with another video today we'll be trading 13 funded accounts live 50 k's we're going to be copy trading them using the built-in copy trader on tradevate um we just received our 26k payout from apex trader funding so now that the money is out of account we're going to start trading again all right so let's get the work guys all right guys welcome back Looks like we're selling off here. And we're reaching for somewhere. It looks like we're reaching for this gap. So we're reaching for this gap. We took off from the other day. So we might be using this area. <clears throat> we might be using this area for liquidity, guys. Alright. So expecting for this to come. Most likely come down here. A little bit more. It's 8 54, it's 9 o'clock right now. We're starting to see some. We're starting to see some buying. Maybe we grabbed another liquidity. Um, that's what it's looking like. And it's a Friday, guys, so we want to be very careful. Um, we want to just take, you know, whatever moves that we can and um, get out the way, guys. Alright guys, let's see if we're strong enough to come up here and break past this level. And that will let us know um, the temperature is changing in the market and the buyers, the buyers are, because this is the last high. So that's why I'm looking, you know, for that indication. We're going to sit back and be patient and wait for our setup, wait for our move. Um, 8.30, 8 o'clock to 8.30 was 
Um, we started to sell off. You can see these small candles. Um, this is from uh, pre-market. Pre-market. Um, Eight o'clock. We started to get some movement. Um, then about 8 20 8 30 uh, that's when we started to we started to break down so let's see how this goes guys all right We had an undecided candle right here. We have a doji. Let's see if we're strong enough to break up. It looks like we're having trouble right here on this area. If we can't break this area, uh, that's showing us. Now the market is weak, it's still weak, so it still has some selling to do. So I want to see. If it breaks through, um, next area will be up here that we're looking for. If it can break past, you know, if it's looking weak around this area, all right, we can expect for it to come back down and tap this this zone, all right, on um, this level. It's 9.02. So we're going to start to see some. We're going to start to see some volume come in pretty soon. Um, so that's what we're waiting for. And guys, these are funded accounts as well. We're trading our funded accounts. Copy trading. Copy trading all of them, you guys. So whatever one I take on, uh, this account will copy trade to the rest of them. We have both. Um, we have about 13 in this this list. Uh, we kept three out today, so I mean, well, we kept um, a few of them out because they are already requested for payout. So I don't touch those until they actually get approved. Um, just because, just to be safe, until I get them above a certain level. A nice build up, a nice safety net. All right, guys. So it looks like we have broke above this level so we're starting to look some buyers coming in so okay I want to see if we can tap this again before we take off But this will be the next level, guys, that we're coming for. This will be what we're coming for. It's Friday, so Fridays can get a little bit tricky, you know. So you guys always want to just be careful. Take your move, whatever you can, and get up out of the markets. All right.
See, we came down and tapped this area, guys. We want to wait till it's finished. We want to wait for the move to happen. <clears throat> We're showing some signs of respect. Waking off this level, so. We definitely showing some time signs of respect. Let's see if we can tap the level and actually close there. If not, if we just break out, uh, we know exactly where where our next level is. But I want to see us come down and tap this. We go we tapped it now we're starting to pull back up It's currently 9, 9.07. I'm going to sit back and be patient and just wait. There we go. And if we tap this level, we'll be looking for a move to here potentially. Let's take our 125 for now, guys. That candle was playing over there, so um, 
even though I know that uh, we're going to come down, um, the candle was playing in that area for quite a bit of time. So what you want to do is just take your money in and get out of there. All right, guys, but as you can see, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. So, and as you can see, guys, the candle, we started to buy up, all right? So, it was perfect timing, perfect timing. You guys can see, all right? 125 per account. It's well over a thousand dollars. In and out. It's Friday. You don't want to take the chance of being in the way, you know. So what I'm going to do now is just sit back and we're going to just wait, watch the markets, and we have a move already. So uh, let's see what we can do. Let's see how this goes. But the market has been buying back up, so it's been bullish. The market's been bullish uh, these last couple of days. We've been buying back up. So the next level that we're looking for is here. If we're strong enough. Um, this is the next level we'll take out and continue to keep grabbing levels, all right? Previous levels. Look. We tapped. We're pretty close. We're pretty close to it. So let's see. And a lot of times, guys, um, you can you can come in at around eight o'clock, eight thirty, and catch a good move before the market even opens. New York time. New York even opens. Um, 8.30 um, around 8 o'clock to 8.30 um, but my trading time normally is 10 o'clock um, 10 o'clock to 11 and I'm out of the markets 10 o'clock to 11 I'm out of the markets and the reason why I wait till 10 because Normally 10 o'clock, um, 9.30 is very volatile. New York opens, 9.30 is very volatile. A whole bunch of volume, a whole bunch of people, you know, are in the market. So I'm making do some crazy things, move real fast, spike up one way, spike another way. And you don't want to get caught up in that. What you want to do is wait and see what they're doing. All right. See what they're doing. They'll, because they'll show you. They'll show you. All right look at this guys we're coming up to this level it's 9 15 we're starting to buy back up so this is the next level we're gonna we're gonna try to reach for okay actually close a bit higher yes we did we close a bit higher so and over here all right so let's see
see how we came back into this area use some some more liquidity um, to push up sometimes we're not strong enough to break a level so what we'll do is come back down fill some orders grab some stop losses grab some limit orders and you know that'll give give the market enough money give the banks enough money to you know to keep pushing tell that value volume is starting to come in um nasdaq moves way faster than this uh, i trade es and that's um i've been trading es for years i trade nasdaq as well before but um i made the majority of my money you know trading es i just know it like the back of my hand it's the first instrument i traded and really you only need one you know i don't flip flop i don't change contract sizes um, i use the same exact um same exact strategy over and over again same exact strategy i don't use any indicators and uh i can actually see if the market is strong or weak just because i studied this in instrument for so long s p 500 i traded it on every different um in every different market forex um crypt uh forex stock market um and now f futures and, and the reason why i'm so good at this is because i used to trade my own money for years it's the first time ever um I'm trading for a firm but this is the best firm out there in my opinion and um yeah apex apex you have two rules 30% rule and the dollar cost average rule so yeah if you can get those rules together you can stay within those rules. You can get a payout, guys. It's that simple. We're coming for this level right here. That volume is coming in. If you guys like these live videos like this where I these live trading videos where I sit it, sit down and uh, you know watch the markets through live trades uh, session. Uh, leave a like. Let me let me know you guys, and I'll you know I'll keep making more like this for you guys. I just want you guys to learn, you know, see what I'm actually doing in the live markets, so and see how I make money. You know, I'm a scalper, so I'm in and out of these trades. A lot of times you won't see me put an actual stop on my on my trades because it's, they happen so fast, you know, I have a mental stop loss. Sometimes I will if I'm, you know, if I have, I have a longer trade, but I'm in and out of these guys. I'm in and out of these. Now we're coming up to this level. We'll see if we're strong enough to break through. Okay.
924 guys so that volume is starting to come in volume is starting to come in new york session me and myself i like to avoid new york open but hmm. look at this you may be trying to take it back down to this level right here well like i said uh See how we pull back up fast? Just watch that. patient guys you want to be patient stay calm be patient there we go guys there we go Two fifty. There we go, guys. Two fifty. Thirteen accounts. That's all we need for the day, guys. Look how we pulling back up. That's the reason why. So I'm in and out of these trades. In and out of these trades. Two fifty. <clears throat> Two fifty across multiple accounts guys so 250 one two three four thousand dollars one two three four thousand dollars one two three four thousand dollars so i made about 3200 um over all accounts uh all 13 accounts so let's see i normally take one to three trades a day so but look at this big candle look at that look at that that 930 volume is coming in so you have to be super fast if you want to play around these times um, you want to take your profit and if you have to break even on on those trades or take a quick loss um it's okay just make sure you have your your stop loss my stop loss my mental i use a mental stop loss my mental stop loss is six hundred dollars if i lose that six hundred dollars a day um i'm closing out for the day no more all right no more but i normally aim for i take whatever you know see i take whatever I take profit whatever God you know allows me to make every day I take I take my profit I'm not greedy all right I'm not greedy at all and this is how you stack up consistent wins guys consistent wins after I have a certain amount you know I don't keep 
going back in the market i take one to three trades a day i'm in and out the market guys in and out the markets because what happens is you sit around on the charts all day um if you know what i know you see money everywhere you see setups <clears throat> you start to see setups everywhere or i can take this trade or i can take that trade um your first couple trades yours the sharpest because you mark up your charts and you get in um and get out and do what you need to do all right look at this guys look at that it's 9 30. i want you guys to see how the 9 30 opening is look at this this is why it's very important to stay away from these markets at 9 30 especially if you're a beginner and you don't know what you don't know what's going on i'm not a beginner i've been trading for years now and i do not trade um that 9 30 opening all right it's very risky if you want to be consistent if you want to be a winner if you want to have discipline just wait until 10 o'clock or trade before pre-markets if you can see around this area if you can see around this area this is eight around this area this is eight all right i'm gonna use this circle to uh, show you guys a few things all right this is right here this is around 8 30. all right this big move right here happened at 8 30 but it wasn't super volatile you can see it before it happened take your time you get in and get out today i started a little bit around um eight 8 45 ish nine o'clock somewhere around there yeah around eight something caught a move before market open but i i seen this uh, i basically seen this happen right here um i got in right around the time this this was happening so you know uh mark my charts up no matter what i never just jump straight in the markets i mark my charts up you are always have to know um you always got to mark your charts up to know where we came from in order to know where we're going okay so always remember that always remember that you gotta know where we came from to know where we're going all right now we took this level out we're going to sit here at this level next level let's go to the let's go to the five minute all right next level would be where would be here we're coming for this level all right we're, com we're coming for this it's the last level that we let's see we're coming for here now watch this come for watch this now you know these markets like this um This is a part of um this is a part of trading that you know that i love um i've been trading this instrument for so long i understand it understand the way it moves i understand you know understand the way it moves the way it operates um when it's weak when it's strong so we can capitalize off of that all right we can capitalize off that guys trade one instrument you don't have to be like everybody else and trade five different pairs or, or five different instruments no I, I trade one thing it don't it doesn't matter since the beginning of my trading um when i first started tra uh, trading stocks i found the s p 500 and I, I i stuck with it guys and i mastered that specific to that specific um instrument all right and i when i switched over switched over to even when i switched to, over to forex i trade spx same thing you know even when i switched over to um now i'm trading features yes it's the same exact thing guys because i understand it i spent so much time and i'm you know i made so so much money on it so um just because just because of that being consistent you don't have to make a whole bunch of money guys stack up small wins a win is a win all right that builds confidence and it also builds discipline all right take your money
okay take your money if God allowed you to you know um, wake up this morning and give you an opportunity to make any type of money guys um, take it all right because you can come back another day and make you know have, have a beautiful day you know another beautiful day stack wins on top of wins wins on top of wins that's how we build confidence that's how we build discipline all right if somebody came up to you with a hundred dollars a couple hundred dollars you would take it okay so don't look at the markets like it's anything different you know it's it looks like you know it, it's it's on a a screen or uh it's digital but it's real money okay it's real money it's the same thing once you learn that um you'll be you'll be good stack small wins small wins a w is a w all right don't let nobody tell you no different don't let nobody all these gurus make you feel you know a win is a win a win is a win i don't care if it's a hundred dollars two hundred dollars i started off in the markets with my own money making a hundred dollars a day you know and i used the snowball effect all right I just keep stacking small wins, small wins, small wins. All right, 100, 200, and that became to 300, that became 500, that became, you know, so forth and so on. So, but I want you guys to see this before this video ends. All right, watch where we hit, watch where we hit. Every level that I, that I say we're gonna hit, we're gonna hit it. We're coming for it. After we hit this level, I want you guys to rewind the video back. Watch the whole video. Earlier, I told you guys if we break through this level, the next level that we'll capture is this one. So, we're going to tap this level. Once we tap this level, And I could be getting in. I could be doing certain things. I could be, but um, I'm not greedy, guys. I'm not greedy. Some days I make. Um, some days I make a thousand dollars. Some days I make a hundred and something dollars. But it's a Friday. You don't want to. You know. You want to be careful on Fridays. You don't want that on your conscience. Over the weekend, the uh, the loss. So take your W, whatever it is. And just walk with it. God allowed you to um God allowed you to profit some money today. You no. Know, be grateful, take it and run with it. But just like the markets give you money, they can take it, you know, they can take money as well. So you guys wanna be always be, you know, be careful, man. Be careful. <clears throat> Look how much volume came in from 9.30 You know, 9.30 a.m. All of this All of this You don't want to be in that, guys Especially if you don't have no skin in the game You know um, I'm not going to tell you guys what to do But my best experience I just wait till the market calms down You know And let it tell me where it's going 
either before or right before open <clears throat> right before open or right after open around like eight o'clock eight thirty eight o'clock to eight thirty and then i wait till ten o'clock but i know where it's going i mark my charts up you know it's coming here for sure so that's why i'm a scalper look at this guys we hit this we hitting this level right now exactly where i say exactly come on come on guys all right you guys level is tapped now you have it there you have it once again we made 250 on 250 on all accounts hope you guys can see this 250 on all accounts thank you guys for watching and um if you want to learn my strategy links will be in the description all right all right guys Peace out.